so we will discuss about the slope and deflection of beam first we will derive and then uh, we will see the different method so deflection profile of a beam is known as its elastic curve if a beam subjected to pure bending it is bent to a circular arc and radius of the bending profile can be obtained by the pure bending equation that is m by i is equal to e by r so here we have considered one simply supported beam in this position it is simply supported in this position it is simply supported and due to the own weights of the beam this beam is going to deflect like this curve elastic curve so we can consider a small segment pq which is infinitesimal length of ds of this elastic curve of this beam and r is the radius of curvature d theta is the included angle between these two segment so we can easily write ds is equal to r d theta as ds is very small then it can be assumed as a hypotenuse of this uh, right angle triangle def so from this slope of this curve at point p with coordinates x y we can write tan theta is equal to dy by dx where dx and dy represent the projected length of the segment ds along the x and y respectively so if we differentiate this equation one tan theta is equal to dy by dx with respect to x we can get sec squared theta d theta by dx is equal to d2 by dx2 so d theta we can replace d theta is equal to ds by r so sec squared theta ds by r that is d theta and 1 by dx is equal to d2 by dx2 so from here we can write sec cube theta by r is equal to d2 y by dx2 as ds by dx ds by dx is equal to sec theta, sec theta. so we can write d2 y dx2 is equal to this numerator and divide by r as sec theta is equal to 1 plus tan square theta to the power half so this becomes 1 plus tan square theta to the power 3 by 2 by r so here we can note that the numerator is very small usually r is very small very large compared to the span therefore uh, um, therefore we can neglect the term the numerator term we can neglect so we can write d2 y dx2 is equal to 1 by r that is 1 by r we can write from the pure bending equation r is equal to e by m so that is equal to m by ei so here we can write ei d2 y dx2 is equal to m so moment is equal to e, product of e into i and into d2 y dx2 so from this this is the governing equation of the beam which is uh, takes into account of the effect of bending moment only the effect of shear and deflection is extremely small and usually it is neglected so we can see that m is proportional to the product of e and i so larger the ei the larger will be the moment so there is one important parameter ei which is known as the flexural rigidity this product ei is called flexural rigidity now the sign convention used for the deflection of this beam so if we consider this simply supported beam a b or the cantilever beam a b if we take origin a then as it goes towards positive towards the right and y positive towards the towards upwards then the deflection for this a and c is negative as it is going downwards for both the cases so the slope is negative between a and c and between c and b slope is positive and for this simply supported uh, for this cantilever case the slope is negative throughout now there are different method used to solve the slope and deflection of the beam these are named as first is that 
डबल इंटीग्रेशन मेथड मैकॉलिज मेथड मोमेंट एरिया मेथड स्ट्रेन एनर्जी मेथड एंड कॉन्जुगेट बीम मेथड इन द फोर्थ वन स्ट्रेन एनर्जी मेथड देर आर टू थियोरम इज देयर दैट इज थियोरम वन दैट इज कास्टिग्लियनो थियोरम वन एंड द सेकंड वन इज कास्टिग्लियनो थियोरम टू सो इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द मोमेंट इंटीग्रेशन मेथड सॉरी वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द डबल इंटीग्रेशन मेथड सो in this method the equation of elastic curve this is the equation of elastic curve so first we will integrate this elastic curve equation then we will get the slope and again if we integrate we will get the deflection so first if we integrate this equation we will get e i d2 i dx2 is equal to integration of m dx plus c1 where c1 is the integration constant and if we again integrate this equation we will get ei into y that is equal to double integration m dx plus c1x plus c2 where c1 and c2 are the integration constants so deflection of different various type of beams can be obtained by putting the boundary condition and using this two equation we are integrating two times to get the um, deflection that's why it is called double integration method and if we integrate single time we will get the uh, slope so now if i take one example this is cantilever beam where load is acting at the free end w and we are taking this as zero and when we are going left towards the fixed end it becomes l so here x is equal to zero and here x is equal to l so we are going uh, from right to left in the direction of the x so the moment at the section this section where x is equal to x we we can see that moment that is w into minus w into x because it is in hogging in nature so if we put this moment into this equation we can get ei d2 i dx2 is equal to minus wx so if we integrate single time we we will get ei dy dx minus wx square 2 plus c1 now in order to determine c1 we need to put the boundary condition at x is equal to l that means x is equal to l l here dy dx that is slope is zero because slope is zero in this location and if we put this x is equal to l dy dx is zero then we will get the integration constant and we have determined the integration constant is equal to w l square by 2 so now if we put c1 value over here we can get ei d2y dx2 is equal to minus w x square by 2 plus w l square by 2 so thus from here we can determine slope is equal to w by 2 ei l square minus x square now if we integrate again we will get the deflection if we integrate again this equation we will get ei into y that is minus w x cube by 6 plus w l square 2 into x plus c2 the c2 we can determine from the from this boundary condition at x is equal to l that means here c y is 0 deflection is 0 so c2 is equal to minus w l cube by 3 so if we put this integration constant c2 value in this equation we will get this value so from there we can determine y that is equal to minus w 6 ei 2l cube minus 3l square x plus x square now at free end if we determine the if you want to determine the deflection at free end where x is equal to 0 if we put if we put the value x is equal to 0 then we will get slope at free end x is 0 so that means w l square by 2 ei and deflection at free end that is minus w l cube by 3 ei so you can see that uh, this is the uh, negative that means the deflection is in downward direction now the similar thing can be applied for the cantilever beam which is having uniformly distributed load or simply supported beam where load is acting mid position or simply supported beam with uniformly distributed load the basic equation basic um, governing equation will be this and if we if we need to integrate uh, single times to get the deflection and from there we need we can uh, put the boundary condition and we will get the uh, slope uh, for all these cases and if we integrate again we will get the mm, uh, deflection after putting the proper boundary condition so these things can be easily uh, determined so thank you